Ah, okay. Oh, what was that out there? Oh, excuse me, but do you know where Chrissy is? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know where he is. Who are you again? Introductions. Huh. I forgot. I am Lieutenant Colonel, and I am the new leader of this army, and we will avenge Chrissy's father, William. You do notice you're in a lab, and we are testing something out? Okay, then. What are you testing out? It's secretive, and we cannot expose this until we win a war. Uh, my father was an evil man. He started this war because all he wanted was to take over the whole world. And who might you be? Well, that would be the boy, Lieutenant Colonel. Oh, call me sir. Ah, yes. This is William's son, Chrissy. So this is my dad's fault for starting Robloxy in World War One. Wait a second. Why did you say Robloxy in World War One? Is there a Roblox in World War Two? Uh, no, no, I, I did not say that. Chrissy, I want you to join me. If you join me, we can bring your father back and brainwash him into a good man when he once lived in the twenties. Uh, okay. So yes, sir, I'm gonna join you. But excellent. But remember, we will start in a few years. We are designing something bigger. This is what I want to show you. Right here is our weapon. Wow, God, that's a huge bomb. Well, I know it is. This bomb is equivalent to 77,000 tons of TNT. This is larger than the bomb that was dropped in 1945. Sir, this is really cool, but why are you doing this? Wouldn't this blow up the Earth due to this explosive radius? Uh, I know, but this bomb is able to blow up 250 Brookhavens in total. So, why don't we start the war, huh? Happy birthday, my little angel. Oh my gosh, Dad, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. It's already been five years since you came to this world. Yes, also, where is Mom? I'm sorry to say this, but, uh, she's in the hospital checking her pregnancy test. She won't be coming. Wait, Dad, did you say pregnancy? I'm having another sibling? Yes, I did, my little angel. Yes, I did. Well, this must be the address. Yes, this has to be the house. Now, I need to find Daniel. Daniel? Hello? Oh, there you are. Hey, sir, what brings you to this family household? I'm just here to give your daughter a present. I know it's her birthday, so I decided to give it. Here you go. Oh, thanks. I'll give it to my daughter once she's done eating her slice of cake. Nice. Well, I best be going. I have some things to do with the mayor. Well, okay then. Good luck, sir. Okay, see you, Daniel. Oh, and remember to lock the door. Okay, sorry, I'll do that. Okay. Whew, I'm out. Now I just need to go to the mayor's office. And, oh my, I, I'm due in two minutes. Okay, I need to get there now. Oh, I'm there. Okay, I'm here. Okay, okay. I'm almost there. Okay, I made it. I'm sorry I'm late. Sir, I've got it. Well then, I know you have good measures. You have been a good general to the Brookhaven army. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. See you next time. Whew, that was close. Well, I better get home. My daughter is, like, trying to prepare everything for tomorrow. What are you doing here? Well, hello there. I guess you haven't met the replacement of my father. Replacement of your fa- Oh my god, it's you, you little moron. Yes, it's me, Lieutenant Colonel. I have joined the army since 2024. Well, congrats on your 25th anniversary then. I missed it by two years. I didn't know you were that old, you oldie. Shut up, you piece of...
Cat, you are now one of us. <laughs> you fools. I can do anything else other than being a small army of 4,300 soldiers. Even though we got outnumbered, we still won. But I don't think you'll be able to defeat my army now. We're making experiments on some things at my lab. Oh, well then. I'll see you later on. I need to get ready for tomorrow. Good luck, you little noobs. Thank God I lied to them. This has to be the place. Yes, it is. Wait. Hold up. Daniel, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be home with your daughter with your birthday party. I know, but she's asleep right now. Also, I locked the doors and added some security features to the house. Alright, that's good. But anyways, Daniel, this is a restricted area and I'm trying to find out what Lieutenant Colonel is doing. Did you say Lieutenant Colonel? Uh, yes. That's what I said. He's even worse than Rodolph Hitblocks. Oh, I know, but why don't we go inside and investigate the area? Yes, uh, we should. Let's go inside. It's freezing out here. Oh, I'm safe. Whoa, what's happening in here? Okay, so Daniel, do you know why I'm here in this exact building? No, I don't. Basically, Lieutenant Colonel has a bomb that is six times bigger than the Bloxashima bomb. So we might as well just find this thing and get rid of it. Okay then, but what do we do once we find it? We're gonna store it in a safe with no one who can find it. Oh, and careful, Daniel. Colonel set up some traps over here. So you gotta be careful on where you're stepping. There could be landmines in here. Ha! I see you. Get out of here! No, you! Oh. See, Daniel? There's lab soldiers here. They have guns on them, meaning that they can shoot us with their weapons. Wait! I have an idea. It's probably downstairs. We can probably check in the laptops. Daniel, why would a bomb be in a laptop? That would not make sense. Here! I'll show you. There it is. It's in the computer. Daniel, it's just a computer game. It has little space invaders in there. Not on this one, though. This is a computer game generated in reality. So this means if you use an explosive in-game, it will also blow up in reality. Well, Daniel, you're really good at video games physics. But anyways, let's take it and run away and keep it safe. You know what, sir? You should do it. I'm not capable of holding a bomb that is approximately 77,000 tons of TNT. Well, okay, fine, let's go. It's because I have more experience than you in fighting. Anyways, where do we go upstairs? Oh, holy crap. You have nowhere to go. Hehehe, <laughs> you fell for it. Ahaha, we got you now, you loo. Oh, I have an idea. Follow me. Wah! Okay, wow, we did it. Now we can store this in a safe place where no one's allowed to touch it or interact it with it again. Yes, no one will ever find it here. Oh, oh, Daniel, almost forgot. Make sure you keep it safe and make sure that the explosive does not explode. We don't want this bomb to blow up the earth. Yes, sir. I will protect it at all costs. 